Right. right. Hello, hello, and welcome to my first Let's Play. My name is Malice, and I will be your host and player for this game, which is going to be Ghostbusters for the Mega Drive. Genesis, as you Americans would call it. Now, I've picked this game not only because I really like it, but because I've recently seen the film again, and after 16 years, it's still awesome. <sighs> Oh, apologies if the sound is a bit quiet, I've had to move my speakers because there is a bit of an awkward place in this room. And they're not very near the microphone right at the moment. <coughs> That's been quite a bit more than 16 years, hasn't it? Now, I have played this game quite a lot before, so to give myself a bit more of a challenge and a few more surprises, I'm going to put it in hard mode. Yes, we're going to be brave about this one. Yeah then, as for who I'm going to play as, speed generally not important in this game, <clears throat> whereas endurance super important because, let's face it, you don't want to die. So I'm going to stick with Raymond for that reason. There he is. In this fat ugly glory. Now I'm not going to go through the storyline because it's pretty, pretty generic and dull. There's ghosts, you go shoot them. What do you need than that, really? Oh no, the tables move by themselves and the shelves fly around the house. Shelves coming off the walls, huh? One middle box, okay. I've never played this on hard mode before, so I'm probably going to get a few nasty shots. Okay, here we go. Like that, for example. Playing firing two shots at once is completely new to me. Those blobs are fucking annoying. Oh, I must point out, I'm not going to censor myself. <laughs> I would find that ridiculously difficult to do. So, I'm not going to really try. You just have to deal with my bad language, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I'll, I'll do my best to keep it to, you know, as much of a minimum as is reasonable. This game can get pretty damn frustrating sometimes, though. So, yeah. Nice, fairly straightforward level to start with, even though some things are new. Ah! An evil tablecloth! <laughs> some of the enemies in this game get really weird. You know, as in weirder than they should be. You know. The flying cutlery, you know, you'd expect that. Ah, fuck. Who puts a hole in their floor? I mean, really? Poor architectural choices, really. Damn, those things are not supposed to fire two bullets at once. I'm totally not used to that. <coughs> oh, don't mind the squeaking, it's just the chair I'm sitting on is quite old, so very noisy. And I'm a fidget. Oh, that's Slimer. Yay. Let's kill him and steal his soul. Which heals us for some bizarre reason. I've always wondered about that. Yeah, you're not fooling me, Chandelier. I've played this game before. It seems that hard mode's only really improving the enemies rather than any of the level layouts. Which is good because it means I'm not going to be completely lost. Oh, fuck. little bonus room there with some money in it. Money's pretty damn important in this game, so I need to get as much of it as is possible, really. Now, see, I think that's the most creative moving platform I've ever seen. A floating table. And there are giant spikes on the floor. Well, of course, I mean, you know, we've already established this house is fucked up. <laughs> oh dear, let's see if the mini-bosses have changed at all. I'm expecting they're probably harder in some way. Maybe not. Maybe they just take more hits or something. Oops, sorry, I've got a glitch on my gamepad which makes it press start every once in a while, randomly. It's more annoying on some games than others, but it's going to cause you know, that kind of disturbance. So. so you know what's going on if I randomly pause it for no good reason. 
This boss always freaked me out as a child. I mean, come on. There you go. That's alright. Now we get to do the fun part. Although it's not so much fun as that pain in the backside because of how tricky it is to actually pull off. I'm not entirely certain how it works in terms of the mechanics and stuff because you have to get them somewhere above the trap to catch them. Mainly just luck, really. But each one you get gets your money, and that's always good. Right, we're almost done with this first level then, so I might better fit two into one video. Because the first two levels are pretty short. Let's see if I can handle the boss, because he's a bit annoying. He's a big green thing with spikes on his face. I'm not entirely sure. What are you up to? You woke me up just when I was sleeping good. I mean when I'm tired. I mean, you're fucking ugly as well. I'm not always going to do voices with the bosses, but I felt like it for that one. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. No! See, that's my problem with him. He, when he's rolling towards you, you're never sure if he's going to jump or just keep rolling. And you have to decide what you're doing. Quick with the swift player hits you. If you get it wrong, then he hits you anyway. So it's you know, a bit unfair. Oh, there we go. Never thought to crouch on that part. <laughs> I'd do it for this part to avoid getting scaled in the face, but not there. I'm just dense. Ah! Damn it. Damn him and his googly eyes. It's impossible to find this thing scary because it's so comic. Some of the other bosses are a bit freaky, but this one just makes me laugh. I'm use a bomb, get rid of all the scales at once. Okay, going down to his last phase. I've almost died, which doesn't usually happen. Then again, this is hard mode, so again, I would expect it to be harder than normal. Damn it, I thought I had him then. Oh well, I'm gonna lose life here. Oh, no! Brilliant! Never pulled that jump off before in my life. Ah, damn it. Well, it's certainly living up to its reputation then, isn't it, of being hard. Hmm. Yes, there we go. And we get a little bit of a comedy halo. And his head floats off. I'm really sure what that's about. Pretty sure it gets worse as well, because his eyes fall out! <laughs> that made me jump when I first ever saw it. I think the eyes can hurt you as well, which is a bit strange. There we go, first level done. Nothing too, nothing too difficult. Right, I think actually looking at the time, I'm going to have to just do a one level per video. It do take a little while, so get our money in. It will indeed be his last mistake, Ray. You tell him. <laughs> Basically, they get the piece of this stone tablet. And there's some storyline revolving around that. I've never really followed it too heavily. And I've realised I've just missed the shops, so I should probably go and do those. Because you've got these weapon and item shops, which are pretty useful. I say useful, I mean necessary. No way you can finish the game without buying stuff. The weapon shop got stuff like well, all the other weapons, shockingly enough. Most of them are pretty useless, but uh, I'm going to want this one at some stage. And this is absolutely essential because it reduces the damage you take. And then again, this hard. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the 10 minutes, so I will see you guys in the next video when we do level 2.